how much of week one forever ago against the Saints carries over to this week's prep? Um, you know, you can't disregard it, but at the same time, uh, being week 15, whatever it is now, you know, both um, our team and their team has changed. Um, so I think it would be a you know, totally new matchup, you know what I'm saying, at the end of the day. I think this is one of the biggest space in between the times I had been playing this team, you know what I'm saying? So I'm excited to get back, get back out there and compete against them. So you want to treat it like a fresh new, new game and not really look too much far on the first game. You joke that, you know, week 15 or whatever it is. You've been a long on. At what point does it all become like kind of just a mesh of I don't know what week day it is? Um, you know, I don't know if it ever gets to where you don't know what week day it is, but it's just like, um, you know, you were at that point of the season where it's, you know, it's crunch time, you know what I'm saying? And, but, you know, you're towards the uh, back end of it. So, you know, when I just said, I just say like, you know, it was 15, 16. Then, you know, they added, added an extra game. So, you know what I'm saying? So. Get throw you off sometime. How much more do you expect this rivalry to, to, I don't know, feel even more intense with both teams kind of trying to make a playoff push here? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, both, with both teams trying to make a playoff push, it's going to be super intense because it's always super intense no matter how well one of the team is doing, how bad one of the other team is struggling. It's always an intense game, you know, with the rivalry being what it is and, um, you know, with the two organizations, how they are over the history. It's always going to be a tough game, you know. So, with us being in a position that we in, with them being in a position that they're in, it's obviously going to be a hard fought game. You know, we, we got to go down there to the day spot, which is one of the toughest places to play, you know, in the league. And um, so I'm excited about the challenge, but, you know, it's definitely going to be a, um, a lot on the line. How much can you look at the film from that first time that you played them now that with Andy Dalton now under center? Like, how much does that change, I guess, their game plan? Um, you know, I mean, I think they, they, they always hold true to their identity, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, um, Jameis and Andy Dalton are, you know, two different quarterbacks at the same time. Uh, Andy Dalton had a lot of success in his league, you know what I'm saying? There's a reason why they, you know, chose him to, to lead their team, and he's doing a really good job for them. And uh, it's going to be a heck of a challenge for us, you know what I'm saying? So we definitely got to try to get after him and, you know, be sharp in our coverage in the back end because, I mean, ain't nothing that they haven't seen, you know, with his time being in the league and the success that he's had. So, um, you know, they, they chose him for a reason. How was their line improved, you know, looking at him on tape from Tabo? Um, I think um, going from last week, I mean, well, two weeks ago to this, to this week, improving is getting a starting center back. Um, you know, one of the better centers in the league. Um, you know, captain of the offensive line and directing stuff. But that group up front been playing together for a long time. You know, and um, you know they they highly skilled, um, play with a lot of effort. And um, so, I mean, it's definitely a challenge every time you go against them. So, um, and I think you know, like like I always say in all my um, presses, is like you know the more. The more you play, the better you get. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, we know we got a heck of a challenge up um, ahead of us, especially with, you know, McCoy coming back. You have a lot of rookies playing significant roles at this point. I haven't played in the Superdome before, at least not against the Saints. Yeah, for sure. Do you have to talk to them about that? Because it's a different type of environment than I would imagine. Probably the only place you've gone this year that's even close is Seattle. I would guess, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know if I got to talk to them, but if I talk to them or not, they're going to be in there someday. <laughs> <laughs> they better figure it out quick, fast, and in a hurry. <laughs> they better figure it out. You know, it's professional football. And uh, when you when you go in those um, um, hostile environments, it should get your blood flowing, you know, as a competitor. So I'm, I'm sure they'll be fine and excited to go out there and play and compete. Well, I guess I'm accentuating that because Desmond's going to make a yeah. first start there. Mm -hmm. So you're being one of the leaders on this team, even though you play defense. I didn't know if like you have those conversations with him, just being like, um, you know, this is different, this is not it. <laughs> uh, Coach Coach Smith do a good job of painting the picture for us as a whole team, you know? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I, I don't have to go really out my way to like tell him, because and Dad's somebody who's, you know, super mature, you know what I'm saying? He's excited about his, um, his his um his opportunity and I, I mean I don't worry about him you know what I'm saying I'm excited to see him go out there and play and uh, I mean there's no better um, arena you no know, to to go out and see what you're about in a rivalry game in a house playoffs on the line you know I think a lot of it's on stake man I think that's just gonna bring out the best in our whole team so I'm excited um, for Sunday and um, and I'm sure they are too. Has playing here close to home made your career any more meaningful to you than it would have been if you played in Dallas? Say, in the same um, I mean, I, I think playing professional football, you know, that's a dream that I that I um, that I'm living. You know what I'm saying? And um, it, being home does make it special. But I, I mean, I can't speak on experience that I haven't had not playing home. 
Um, but I mean, just having an opportunity to play somewhere, you know, every year is a new year, no matter when, what contract you sign, no matter what, you know, how long you've been in the league, every year you got to earn your keep, you know? So anytime you get an opportunity to play in professional football, it's always a dream, you know? And so I just try to take it, you know, and just, just do my best in the path that's for me. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I mean, I'm just focusing on where I'm at right now in this time and making the most out of it, you know? So, um, you know, I can't, I can't speak on the experience that I haven't had, and, but I, I can tell you that I love the experience that I'm having. Randy, um, Coach P said he did a 900 play study over the bar, uh, looking at everything. Uh, what are you being back uh, for you guys to, to do? Um, I think that's something he shared with y'all. He didn't really go too much about how many plays he watched over the bar with us, but um, he definitely uh, talked about some things that we can get better at. And but I think the most, the main focus was um, just us getting ready for this next game. You know, as big as the, as big as implications are in this game, would have been division game and you know um, playoff on the line, postseason on the line. I think um, just reviewing some of the things that we. Um, could be better at from our first game and some of the things that we struggled with um, throughout the season and just try, trying to improve on that. So so as a whole, from um, what it took from the whole study, I can't really speak to that, but I can definitely say that um, he's putting us in a position to play our best ball. And their weapons, uh, Kamara and, and uh, Tyson Hill, uh, you know, how are you all uh, you know, try to address those two? You know, two guys that you always got to know where they're at, you know what I'm saying, anywhere on the field. And... Um, they dynamic players at their positions and top of the league in their positions and what they do, and uh, just super, you know, super impactful. You know, in the run game and pass game, run game with Taysom, um, Taysom running the ball, Alvin running the ball. I mean, Alvin getting our backfield in the pass game, Taysom being a tight end or going back there to uh, throw the ball. So I mean, just a, just a triple threat and um, a guy who's been at the top of his position since he walked in the league and Kamara. So you always got to know what those two guys are. You've mentioned postseason a couple of times. Mentioned playoffs multiple times. Because the question been asked, that's why. Right. That's that's why I <laughs> well, talked no, no, about but, it. But, but the fact that you're five and eight <laughs> and having those conversations, you've been in the league long enough. Mm -hmm. Like, would you believe at five and eight that you'd be in this situation? Like I said earlier, you know, you walk the path that you chosen to walk and make the best out of it. You know, we still alive as long as you got breath. Keep keep kicking. That's all you can do. You know, keep working, keep working, and. Uh, you know, you keep fighting to to, to you can't fight no more. And uh, we got an opportunity, and that's what we're going to do our best to achieve. What have you seen so far from Desmond in practice, and have you felt anything different? I don't know, or seen anything, like, leadership-wise stand out to you from the rookie year? Uh, I mean, you know, he he's been working the scout team for us all year, you know what I'm saying? And um, so, I mean, he you always you obviously see the skill and the talent, the uh, confidence that he has. And um, so, I mean, I, I, I mean, I just think uh, time will tell. You know what I'm saying? Time will tell. But I can tell you that uh, myself and the guys around here, um, we believe in them wholeheartedly, you know? And um, I think it will be a treat for um, other people to see versus, you know, me speaking on it and him going out doing doing his thing and just being him, you know? No no pressure. Just go out there, have fun, and do your thing. Was there a moment, I don't know, in scout team where he kind of did something where like, wow, okay, like – What's this guy gonna come out and show everyone? Um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say there was a moment like as far as like oh we went while waiting and I don't I don't know I don't I want to reach for a, a story you know I, I think he's he's a he's a really really um, good player that's why I had get an opportunity and we you know you, you never really know till you till you know you know what I'm saying so and uh, when them live bullets going so I mean it's, it's, I'm excited to see just as everyone else. Well, what can you share with us? Just what have you seen from the rookie quarterback Desmond Ritter this week preparing for the Saints? Uh, I mean, the same kind of stuff from every, like everybody else. He was trying to get ready, you know, trying to develop a rhythm with the offense and you know, get ready to go. Have you felt so far that maybe commanding the huddle? I know it's only practice and walkthroughs, but have you noticed a difference? Do you feel strong leadership from him? Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, I think he's a good quarterback, and he, the uh, reality of it is, it doesn't really matter who's back who's back there. I still gotta do my job. So, you know, I mean, I think he's doing really well so far, and I'm just excited to see what happens. And what's the key to going to be able to protect him against like a sack master like Cam Jordan? Do my job. Yeah. <laughs> Just do my job. Stay between him and the quarterback. Okay. When we were in here yesterday, we were talking to guys. I was actually going back and reviewing the tape, and it was loud in here. It seemed like there was like a livelier energy. I don't know if you okay. felt that in practice this week. And I mean, would that be down to the bye week? Just guys feeling more refreshed? Or? I would say there was definitely like a lot of excitement coming back yesterday. It felt good to get back and practice and get around the guys again. I would prefer the locker room a little quieter, though, because 
I, I like quiet after practice, but that's just me. Maybe the new basketball. It could be. That's been that has been the talk of the town. Is there uh, is there something maybe to that juice knowing that you guys are also still in the playoff hunt? And does you do you feel like maybe there's a little bit more extra excitement to that knowing that these games matter still in this, this year? I think that would be getting ahead of ourselves. Being in the playoff hunt is different than being in the playoffs. I think everyone's happy we're still in it, and that's obviously our goal. But we got to go one week at a time. What do, what do you have to do to, to get a win in this game against the Saints? Play better than they do. <laughs> Do you still feel like this is kind of on the offensive line that you guys are the ones who can dictate the way this game goes for your offense? I mean, you're asking an alignment. I always feel that way. No offense, but yeah. Duh. <laughs> you know, you know, 17 games, I'll feel like that for pretty much every game. <laughs> when you've got a rookie quarterback coming in, kind of taking over, um, I know we were, you had mentioned after the Pittsburgh game that, you know, you try to you know, do things to kind of get Marcus, you know, up or whatever. Is there anything that you talk to Desmond about? Do you not talk to him just to kind of try to keep things simpler for him? Is there anything you can do as an offensive lineman to just help him perform as best he can? Do my job the best I can so he doesn't have to worry about anybody else doing their job. If all he has to worry about is doing his job, it makes it a lot easier. You would be shocked at every position how much easier it makes it if you know you don't have to worry about the guy to your left or your right, if you can just focus on what you need to be doing. Do you, feel, do you have any tips for him? I mean, it feels like, gosh, three years ago since you made your debut. Do you say anything to him about what that was like for you and any tips about how to manage it? Uh, as an offensive tackle, I will refrain from giving a professional quarterback tips on how to be a quarterback. <laughs> Not a quarterback, <laughs> no, but like no what to offense, expect. But... What to expect, like the nerves, the day of, like you know what I mean, like just that first game. I mean, it's you're always going to get nervous before a game. It, it, it doesn't go away. So, it, and unfortunately, I have no great wisdom except, you know, what if something goes wrong, next play. Just, just like everybody else, man. Yeah, next play. Caleb, what, what do you see from that front seven when you turn the tape on and dive into the game plan? They're, they're really good. You know, we've played a lot of really good defenses this year, and New Orleans obviously has a history of being a very stout defense, and you know, we're preparing. Cool. So,